Hi, Hiram here. I did, in the past couple of days, I've done a couple of tests on this Mato Nupai Mahalo stove. This was a stove that Mato Nupai sent to me. He makes these, or his brother makes them, I forget which. And he sells these. But anyway, he sent me one to test out, and I couldn't duplicate the same results that he got. And since then, I've got a couple of helpful suggestions from people and I got a couple of uh, messages from people saying that I wasn't being fair to the test. Anyway, to the helpful suggestions first, David Dannersau, Danner, Danserau, sorry about that, uh, put the name down below, and Jimmy Pulse both suggested that I use a wire pot stand with this, like that that uh, maybe it'll work better without the pot actually on the burn on the stove which would then make that a burner uh, the other thing that I got, got was messages from people saying that I wasn't being fair to this that my water is too cold why do I have to do it at 60 degrees uh, I guess Mato Nupai was doing his right out of the faucet which is an entirely different temperature around here it's about 70 degrees rather than the 60 that I use on my tests. So what I'm going to do in this video is first test with a hardware cloth pot stand. It gives me about an inch from the top of the burner to the bottom of the pot. I'm going to go back to my two cups of 60 degree water just to see what happens and possibly hopefully in the next video, hopefully the last video, I'll do it with warmer water and we'll see what happens from there. But let me go get my water prepped, and I'll be right back for a test. Okay, I've got my water prepped, two cups of water at 60 degrees. Here's three quarters of a fluid ounce, 25 milliliters of methanol. Put that in the stove. Now, I think this is going to really change the dynamic of how this thing even works by using a pot stand, but we'll see what happens. Let's light this. I drip some off the side. Actually, this could be used as it sits right now. So, two cups of water. There go the blooms. Two cups of water, starting at 60 degrees, and let's see where this goes. We're now two minutes into the test. The temperature is up to 111 degrees Fahrenheit. As you can see, there's quite a bit of flame coming out. It's making the uh, pot stand red hot on the top two kind of levels of it so this is really cranking out now uh, room temperature is 80 degrees humidity 64 percent it's raining outside again I, don't, I guess it's not so humid in here because the garage hasn't been opened yet but uh, uh, I, all I can say is let's see how long this alcohol lasts how, when we come to a boil and how long the alcohol lasts one quick thing I wanted to mention here uh, there doesn't seem to be any huffing like what there was before with the pot on the burner. Uh, just thought I'd point that out. Okay, and there go the flames. Going. Going. Let's say gone at 457. Temperature was, let's see, 457. Temperature looked like it was up to a high of 204. Darn, I was hoping it would get there. Uh, as you saw on camera two, it was much a much, much hotter flame. But using the hardware cloth, I guess I should have made it, I don't know. If, if, the hardware cloth was just acting like a huge heat sink. That's where you saw all of it was getting red on the top. So a lot of the first couple of layers were just soaking up the heat. But if I make it too much bigger, it'll be like on the outside, out almost on the outside edge of the pot. Hmm. Maybe a wire stand of some sort would be better. But again, that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees. Room temperature 80, humidity 64, raining outside, and it only got up to a about I'll look back on the film on the video 204 degrees Fahrenheit 
in 4 minutes 57 seconds when it ran out. So it was heating it up faster, but the 3 quarters of a fluid ounce just didn't make it. I'm not sure. Now the first test I did this before I showed it. The first one that I showed you was actually the second one I did. The first one I used one fluid ounce, but uh, the jets hardly came out and I thought it was too much alcohol. Uh, in the uh, Mato Nupai videos, I think he's saying that he can get away with 15 to 17, something like that, milliliters of alcohol and it'll come to a boil, but I just can't seem to duplicate it here. So that was trying out the suggestion by uh, David Denisor and Jimmy Paltz. I apologize immensely for mispronouncing your names, but I thank you for your suggestions. I'll be doing, <coughs> excuse me, I guess I'll do one more test on this stove burner where I'll use warmer water. I'll use water out of the tap and see what that does. I'll go back to using it the way the the stove was meant to be used, but use warmer water. So I thank David and Jimmy for their suggestions. I thank you for watching this stuff. And I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.